x86 is a good alternative to scaled down versions of Linux such as Puppy Linux as I have used these before and doing simple things like logging onto your Wi-Fi network can be quite challenging whereas Android is designed to be used by an average computer user because it's designed for mobile phones and you don't want a really complicated mobile phone but otherwise people wouldn't buy them would they? It's pretty compatible um, my Wi-Fi card and my webcam are both compatible on my Asus CPC701. The Wi-Fi cards and webcam are a little bit iffy because the Wi-Fi card, it thinks it's not working when it is sometimes. And with the webcam, it's fine when you're previewing, but when you actually take a picture, Android tries to automatically adjust it and fails so badly that you can barely see anything but there might be a patch for that, I don't know. Overall, the internet experience is pretty good as well. I mean, the Android browser could compete with real browsers almost. The only problem is the only stable release of Android x86 is Android 1.6, and to get Flash support, you have to have Android 2.2. Um, they do have an unstable version of 2.2, but it didn't install at all on my EPC. During the boot up process, it's just sat there looking stupid, saying Android, and that was it, just didn't do anything. But it may work for you, I don't know.